Good morning, Gages. Welcome to our online learning class. If yesterday was Sunday, so today is? You are correct. It's Monday. Happy Monday, everyone. And welcome back to our math time. Our lesson is count by ones to 120. Our objectives are to count by ones to 120 and write the missing number in a number pattern. So please be ready with your book and your pencil. Are you ready now? Very good. Let us review first our past lesson about counting by tens to 120. So again, simply count the number of groups of tens and then add zero. So, on the first example, how many tens are there? You are correct. Three tens. And three tens is equal to three and, again, I said add zero. So, that is three and zero is 30. Very good. How about the next example? You can tell me how many tens are there? Again, yes, you are correct. Eight tens. And 8 tenths is equal to 80. Very good. 8, 8, and then add 0. And 8, 0 is 80. How about if we have 11, 11 tenths? So what number is that? You are correct. 110. Remember, in three-digit numbers, the first one is the number of 100. So, that is 110. How about if we have the 12 tens? What number is that? Very good. That is 120. Very good, KGs. Now, let us complete the pattern given here. As what we did before uh, in our past lesson, let us write the missing number. This is as simple as counting on to find the missing number. 5, 6, 7, what is missing? Very good, 8. Next, 22, what is missing here? Then 24, yes, you are right, 23. How about the next one? 36, 37, 38, 39, and... 40. Well done, KGs. How about the last one? 41, 42, and 43. Good job, KG. You still remember the number pattern that we did before. We will use your knowledge in writing the missing numbers in our lesson for today. That is counting by ones to 120. But before that, look at this picture. What can you see here, KGs? Yes, different numbers from 1 to 100. This is called a 100 chart. A 100 chart means you can see the numbers from 1 to 100. I just add 101 to 100. 20. So, for example, if we will start counting from 31, what's next? Yes, continue counting 32, 33, 34, and so on. How about if we will start from 76? Continue counting. Very good. 77, 78, 79, 80. Now, in writing numbers 101 to 120, remember what we did before? I asked you to familiarize yourself with numbers 1 to 10 and then write 10 to 100 by writing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on until 10 and add zeros to make it easier. After that, since this is 10, the, the first, this number is 1, so you will write all 1 on the left. Then, look up and copy the number. Do you still remember th that? Very good. 
So in writing 100, 1 to 120, we will do the same. So this is 100. So simply write 10 first on the left. After that, look up again and write the numbers. Just continue counting from 1 to 9. Did you get it, KG? Same thing from 111 to 119. Since this is 110, so this is 11. Remember, 9, 10, 11, 12, right? So, 11 on the left, again, all. Then, look up again, 1 to 9. And then, copy the numbers. From that one, you can write numbers 100, 1 to 120. As what we are doing before, it's the same as, it's the same way of writing 101 to 120. Did you get it, KG? Very good. Now, let us continue our lesson by doing our classwork on page 879. So we have here, Chad and Alex take turns counting by ones. Chad counts from 98 up to 100. Now it's Alex's turn to keep counting. Let us tell the name or let us say the next three numbers. So we have here. Let us just continue counting. 98, 99, 100 then. Very good. 101, 102, and 103. If you, if you find it difficult, just remember, this is 9, 9, 98, 99, 100. So, copy 10. So, you have here 10, 10, 10. And then, as what we had before, they should always say look up. So, that is... Numbers from 1 to 9. Then write 1, 2, 3, and so on. Did you get it, Cages? Very good. Now, let's continue page 880. We will count forward by 1 and then write the numbers. For number 1, 98, then 99, 100, 101, and 102. How about a number 2? Look at the missing numbers. 2 missing numbers before 93. So, you can count back or you may also count on and start answering this number. So, let us answer number 2. So, we have here 91, 92, 93, 94, then 95. This is simply as simple as counting cages. How about number 3? So we have here, let's just start with 112. So after 112, correct, 113, 114, then we have there 115 and 116. Very good cages. Now, on page 881, I will let you do this alone. This is independent practice. So, from 4 to 9, it's the same thing. You will just count on. Count by 1 to get the missing number. And then from 10 and 11, um, read the clues to find the correct answer or the missing number. I will give you time to do it. Afterwards, I will give you the correct answer and check if your answer is correct. Are you finished now? Very good. Let's check if your answer is correct. Okay, for number 4 to 9, simply count forward by 1, then write the numbers. So let's have number 10. The number comes after 112. 
and then the clue number 2 is the number comes before 116. So, the mystery number might be correct, 113, 114, and 115. Okay, did you get it correctly? How about number 11? The number comes before 120. Another clue, the number comes after 114. So, before 120 is 119, and after 114 is 150. So, the number has seven ones. Circle the mystery number. Yes, it's 117. Now, KJ, did you get it correctly? Is your answer the same as this? Very good. Now, let us continue doing page 882. Number 12. Martha is counting to 120. She says the number that is 1 more than 117. Remember this term. 1 more than 117. So, what do you think is the number? Who can guess? Yes, you are correct. The number is 118 because 118 is 1 more than 117. How about number 13? So, fill in the missing numbers from 105 to 111. Okay, who can tell me the correct answers here? Okay, you are correct. 106. 107, 108, then 109, then 110. Very good. How about number 14? Savannah hikes one mile every day. After hiking on Monday, she has hiked 102 miles. After hiking on Friday, how many miles will she have hiked? Remember this clue. One mile per day. So, after Monday, she has hiked 102. So, after Friday, how many miles do you think? Who can give me an answer? Okay, the correct answer is 106. Because from Monday, it's 102. Then you have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, so four more miles. So 102, 103, 104, 105, and 106. Very good. How about number 15? Now, you are free to pick a number here, KG. Pick a number greater than 100 and less than 116. Any number that is greater than 100 but less than 116. Write it in the box. After that, write three numbers that comes before that number and comes after it. For example, we'll choose 110 because 110 is greater than 100 and less than 116. After that, let's write three numbers before that number and a number or one number after it. A number after that is after 110 is 111. Very good. Then write three numbers that comes before it. 109, 108, and 107. Very good. This is just an example, KG. You can pick your own number. Just be sure that you will pick a number greater than 100 and less than 116. Next, let's do number 16, which shows the correct order for counting forward, forward by 1. Okay, which do you think is correct here? That is counting forward by 1. Is this correct? 101, 100, 101, 103, 102? No, it's not. Because 102 comes first before 103. How about the next one? 
115, 116, 117, 118. Yes, you are correct. Shade the box. How about 104, 105, 106, 107? Yes, you are correct also. How about the last one? 115, 116, 119, 120. No, why not kgs? Very good because this 15, 16, it should have 117 and 118 before 119 and 120. Good job kg. Okay, for your homework, just please study your lesson and practice more at home. Have a nice day.